Hey there, everyone. This is Aokao. It's December 20th. It's already December 20th. I feel like when we get to 20th, you know, that's when, you know, we're basically at Christmas's doorstep already. Like, that is wild. Well, here we are. And today, so it's the last... It's day 20 by Roy Curbs is the last gift here in my little zip files. Now, there is the... In two days, there's, like, the last digital gift, but it's not part of this procession. It's something I haven't received yet. And STE Xmas. I don't know what that is. Let's go open up. Hi, how cow. Read this. I can do that. I can read it, like, right here from the zip. All right, so I guess that's how we're starting. Yeah, how cow. So I had an uncle worked at Sega at around 2005-ish who had all kinds of insider information about the latest nonsense found in the Sega offices and from carefully stalking Yuji Naka, he came across a mysteriously unused snow theme level for the hit video game Shadow the Hedgehog starring Shadow the Hedgehog. He's in jail now. But before anybody could cl slam him up for good, he gave me a copy of the hidden level and said, When the time is right, the world will need to know these forbidden secrets. Well, what better way to show the world in a three-figure view count YouTube video? <laughs> Just smash on. Click here to start your shadow bat. And hopefully everything will load correctly, if not, scream at me until it's fixed. Oh, and be sure to just start a single player game. The level itself does have a small tutorial. Oh yeah, Merry Christmas! From Roy Curbs. Okay. So last year, you got me something in that... Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you not see? Oh, it's, um, it's below the... I'm pointing at this here. I remember this. You had s something like that last year. A thing made in that, like, Doom Sonic thing. Uh, and I think it's going to be one of these. Now, I am currently not exactly equipped. Like, like that's a program that wants to be full screen, I think, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, you can't hide that logo. Where's that extract? Click here to start your shadow bat. So I'm going to assume that it's going to want to go into full screen or something. So I'm going to stop this part of the festivities now. And uh, let's go ahead and make this uh, the ambush video. So I'm just going to put you aside and then I'm going to start you off. And then I'm going to figure out how to set you up for recording afterwards. Uh, all right. So we've got a few ambushes here but we're not so last time when i had a few i decided oh, i'm just gonna not watch any trailers i decided to compromise here we're gonna watch most trailers except well we'll see what happens spark 3 the electric jester spark is spark the electric jester is a series i am aware of like it's a sonic like like spark 1 is like like the like the 16-bit Sonics and two is like Sonic Adventure. They do look amazing. I try to know the absolute least possible about them because it feels inevitable that I'm going to be playing them. Well, now I own the third one. Been watching on off for at least for the past 12 years. One to give back. Here's a not Sonic I'm quite fond of from Leafia. Spark Electric Jester 3 High Speed Reaction Platformer. Join Spark on his latest adventure and statement. Very terse statement. But no, yeah. Like, this is a known quantity at this point, And it's very exciting. I just own it now. A cow. Hambush! <laughs> it's pretty good. My Fractalian. Uh, uh, I've never heard of that. Hamsterdam Paws of Justice. An arcade brawler where you become the hamster foo master to save the town of Hamsterdam. Will you be the hero your town needs? Will you defeat the Whisker Twister? In chief, the vile chinchilla Mario. You, you bet your bushy tail. Oh, wow. They, the, the boy just kind of assumes I'm going to win. That's that's pretty comforting. Ah, uh, the unseen, unspoken of narrator already believes in me. It seems to be like a game where they put a lot of H in front of nouns to make them into different nouns. So here we get, like I couldn't help but notice, there is an effluve of shmups suddenly from Flubman. 
started, he was starting, he has started his own uh, miniseries here. Probably blows every Dujan Schmup out of the water, except for maybe Battle Traverse, which is obscure and isn't on Steam. Crimson with a Z, Clover World Explosion. That is a fantastic name for, for a game, for what it's worth. Prepare yourself for an unsatiable rain of bullets, bombs, and beams. In Crimson Clover, earn all the power-ups for an overpowered experience in the all-new arranged version. I mean, all of that speak my language. And yeah, like, who doesn't know Darius? Well, I don't know if Darius and Darius versus him. No, it says Darius right in between. The game that marked the retirement of the franchise. Studio shmups are dead forever. That That is kind of sad. Darius vs. Chronicle Savior. Darius vs. Chronicle Savior is the latest installment in Taito's and last Dario series of arcade, arcade, arcade style shooting games. Blast hordes of alien sea monsters and blaze their own trail through branching environments. Yeah, that's what this Z Darius series is all about. Branching levels, structure, and all your enemies are robot sea life. I don't know if the game ever explains that. Uh, anyways, here's G Darius HD, m much harder than Gaiden. If this won't make you appreciate crunchy PS1 style graphics, nothing. Well, too bad. I already ap appreciate them. You will see the creation of new lives, uh, capture enemies, and fire them back at their allies as enormous beams of energy. This horizontally scrolling shooting game featuring five versions of G Darius, new features and chairman, and Steam tools of extra. There's a very bare bone descriptor there, and here's. They don't know how to spell cosmic, but that's okay, you know? They're, they're forgiven. There is Gaiden, is one of the best horizontal schmops and one of Zun's favorite. Really? Excellent presentation and seven unique final bosses. Yeah, because it's branched path. Seven branches, seven paths. P branching system is complicated. Darius is one of the pioneers of the side scrolling shoot em up genre and the Steam version. But he is a multi screen arcade experience with four different tiles and seven versions filled with aquatic life from Theme Bosman Epic. Zuntata composed soundscape. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. Darius games are like super widescreen. Well, I mean, I, imagine a classic arcade cabinet and then imagine like a typical two screen, like modern two screen setup. And you kind of get an idea of what Darius was in the arcade. Tale of Alton X. I have no idea what that is. But at this point, it's ruined my taste. Tale of Alton I don't know. And like, because this is three things put together, being Alton X second, Reflex, and Kamui, you all didn't see what it is, but you don't know what it means. I guess I could click on these, or I could just click on this instead and, you know be surprised uh, that is my strategy galaxy cat welcome to cat galaxy oh i don't know if i can handle a galaxy cat play as cause the cosmic kitten as you travel the solar system reconnecting the universe together that seems to be quite a task for lil cat but it's galaxy cat welcome's gonna find the cat to galaxy the cat oh i said that all wrong and out of nowhere, Axela, with one last little thing. Kana Zero is absolutely a game I've heard about, but I don't know if I know what it is. The game's neon retro aesthetic reminds me a lot of Foodie, Hyper Light Drifter, and Hotline Miami. So I'm hoping that you'll enjoy this too. Best wishes, Axela. Kana Zero is a stylish neo noir action platformer featuring breakneck, uh, breakneck action and instant death combat. Slash dash manipulate time to unravel your past and beautifully brutal acrobatic display. That does sound pretty good. That does sound like right up my alley, doesn't it? And then they go for like a high contrast neon aesthetic. That's just like pushing it just a little further right into my taste can. Yeah, I think it's already in my bucket, Katana Zero. I just add things sometimes without really knowing about it. So what we're going to be doing, the main games we're going to be looking at, trailers. However, like all the Dariuses and whatnot, I feel like a lot of their trailers would be very similar. So we're only going to do Alton X one because that's the series I've absolutely never heard of. And it's going to serve as a thing for everything. That makes sense. So here's Spark 3. Uh, everything I found on, on, on YouTube except for Cosmic Cat. So let's just do that real quick. 
It's Galaxy Cat. That's why I can't find it. Galaxy Cat. Yeah. I don't know why I made up a new name for you. Oh, jeez. Play as Cause the Cosmic Cat. Oh, that is, uh... I think, like, I'm... Uh, this is subtle. This is extremely subtle. But I think I see what could be this game's main video game inspiration here. <laughs> and yeah, if you want to chat, wait, so, so Galaxy Cat is looking at you in the background. So that cat is the logo. You're using the tiny cat from that other game I played, Gata Roboto. Well, that is quite an unexpected spin. I mean, it looks fine. It looks pretty neat. If you just want something, like, hard, uh, this looks like it could be honestly interesting. Yeah, Galaxy Cat is absolutely in my face zone notice. Oh, I don't know. I need 300 megabyte of space, though. <laughs> yeah, G... No, GeForce numbers are weird. I want to see the preview reviews. There's a Let's Play there. Uh-huh. No sound. Oh, it's a quiet game. All right. Challenging without being overly difficult. Well polished and difficult. Graphics and animations are just cute. Well, what else do you need in life? Spark the Electric Jester the Third. It's in 3D. You look like Beam in Son uh, Kirby uh, Superstar. Like the style of your hat is very transparently inspired. You're taking a long to while to eat your hamburger. Uh oh, you got your burger burger? -da. Maybe. I like how that sword just exists suddenly. Okay, I'm not sure what this trailer is showing me, but I feel like that's... It's, this is not what I expected from a not Sonic. The Sonic with like an emphasis on boss fight? Okay, now we got level. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, that is very blatantly Sonic Adventure in a way that I appreciate greatly. Like honestly... That looks pretty cool. Oh, I wonder how the game feels like. What? You can be a car! Ridiculous. Ooh, that harsh, like, lighting when you fight is really fun. Yeah, I don't know why this video seems to be in 360p, but that's fine. It's okay, my internet is fuzzy at times. Welcome to rural Canada. This looks rad. Like, what if Sonic Adventure, but a bit more modern and a bit less brazen attitude? Although, it's kind of a screamy face there. He's really excited about, I don't know what he's doing, but he's really happy to be there. Amsterdam! The trailer was found immediately and that shocked me. I did not ex like it's just it's you think there'd be like five things with that name at, fi uh, at least Okay, okay digging the vibe here There's a man dressed in garbage. Oh, that's a lot of rewards Best action game from dreamland Atlanta. Oh, it's okay. Well here. This is the switch trailer So yeah, they show joy cons. I have this I have the I have the Steam version, you might have noticed. Honestly, I have rabbit things and a hamster ball. But your guys are... Okay, there's a lot of stuff going on. There's levels. But like, yeah, like, there's stuff happening. I'm... I'm glad I wouldn't be playing the motion version of that. Like, yeah, no, there's, there's, like, yeah. There's a lot. There's, like, you know, like, like, the game... Like what not like might sound like a joke, but I think there's something here Like you can see there's a fair amount of variety in the different bosses and like gameplay aspect. Okay, 
okay, you got my interest. There's a uh, Mokujin on your side. That means you can't lose. All right, so the tale of Altamax trilogy trailer, I guess, is the way to go. It's a bit longer at three minutes, but it's three games, so I guess that evens out using some form of logic. Steer object that had shimmered in the blue sky for countless generations has been worshipped by men as a god. Uh, yeah, it's the Black Omen. Like, that's the immediate sort of like vibe I get. Uh huh. Okay. I thought like it's just a statement there. Militaristic government. Alright, cool. <laughs> oh. Okay, so Altmanax is the name of the bad guy. Music is pretty wild. It's also incredibly soft, and uh, you might not be hearing it. And that spawned a trilogy. These three games. Very high impact schmoops. That's Kamui. Check it out. Yeah, it's a, it's a Virchmup. That is accurate. Throw lightning arrow. Ooh, got some sprite scaling here. That's exciting. I guess it could be polygons, but I doubt it. Okay, so it's a lock on schmup, it looks like. I'm assuming by the fact that he keeps saying a lock on when he's surging his lightning gun. That seems to be an unsafe thing to have on a high speed airplane, space plane. But I'm not a space future engineer. I don't know these things. Here's Reflex. It's Rifla with an X. That makes Reflex. That's how words work. Yeah, like. This genuinely looks like a lot of fun. I mean, you know, they're they're shmup. They are on the bullet hell edge of things. You flood the screen with bullets. They flood the screen with bullets. At some point, someone dies. Warning! Someone with a sign of Scorpios around better give him a pie. You know, it's why not? It's, it's a nice thing to do. Assuming they like pie. Well, I mean, pie is such a vague food that. There must be some kind of pie they like. Just ask. Make a friend today who has the astrological sign of Scorpio. <laughs> Meanwhile, Alton X second, which is the third in the game. That one's C is much more blatantly polygons. Get out of here, sprites. We're in the future now. Uh, as we leave the surface of the earth. All right, read all of that text. You have time. Garden soldier, Ajatara. Whoa. Those frame hitches, live. <laughs> you want that in your trailer? Hey, you know what? It's honest. It's fine. I dig it. You, you, you are getting exactly what you're getting. Oh, it's space laser it's shooting down these guys. Oh wait, is it your space laser orbital laser? Yeah, so you see these sweet sprite pop in here. It looks pretty good. Why would you have that front and center in your trailer? That is wild to me. Like, I kind of love it, but it just looks absolutely wild. Like, that. All right, you know what? New media, I appreciate your confidence. Like, honestly, just thumbs up in the sky. Katana Zero. Man, it's just all, all, all the things are like, oh, there we go. Or not. That's the official teaser. I don't want teaser. Teaser is not going to say anything. All right. We're on the Switch again. Every game's on Switch now. Blood and Gar. Gar. That's how you say gore. Wake up! This is a sequel to, uh... Ooh, that glitch aesthetic, though. It's a sequel to Outer Wild. So I'm assuming that's Katana Zero. Just running up there and just cutting people. Wow, just the blood everywhere is a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, there's a vibe here that I am loving. This looks fantastic. Yeah, like the vibe I'm getting here is 2D Sprite 30. Like in a way your character moves, except also with like maybe more of a story going on here too. Like m more of a narrative than I'm in prison, gonna get out of prison. Also, I infect everything I'm around. <laughs> oh, this looks super cool. I I'm sold. 
Like, I am so sold. And then you just got your samurai man hanging out. Oh, you got shot in the head. Well, you know, yeah. You lose a life, you, you go on. That does look like how I imagine a con- a small condo apartment of a samurai in the modern, perhaps, bad time having era would look like. Just- it just, just makes sense to me. It all makes sense. I- I honestly, yeah. I am very impressed by this trailer. Team who has made this trailer, you have done a very good job. Like, seriously, I mean it. Congrats.